Hey everyone, my name is Mike Sherry and I'm sitting in the driver's seat of a brand new product by Forest River Georgetown. This is the Forest River Georgetown GT7, uh, which is the flagship of all gas Class A on the market right now. And I am sitting in the 36K7 floor plan. There's currently two floor plans out on the market, the 36K7 which has an awesome wardrobe that transforms into a bunk, and I'll show you that here in a second. Two full bathrooms as well. And then there's the 36D7, which I did a video on just the other day, so check that out. Uh, there for bath and a half, giant couch, beautiful motorhome, so make sure you check out that video there. Uh, but today, I'm sitting in the 36K7, and I'm excited to show this to you. So I'm gonna turn this around, and we're gonna be looking out this gigantic front windshield. All right, so one thing I really appreciate about Class A motorhomes is your ability to see everything around you. A lot of customers uh, who have never drove a vehicle such as this, 36 foot long, get intimidated due to its size. They think, wow, how could I ever drive that? I'll never be able to see everything. When in fact, the opposite is true. By having this gigantic one-piece windshield you have full and demanding view of what's around you also on this georgetown they've added the little dog door cat <laughs> dog door cat window down there uh, so you can see what's in that really hard to see spot uh, next to the passenger seat also this comes equipped with a backup monitor which is a 10 inch screen and not only will it show you what's behind you as you're going in reverse and parking but also it'll show you what's on your left blind spot and your right blind spot and that turns on this screen as soon as you initiate the left or the right turn signal this is built on the ford chassis ford v10 powertrain very simple controls, cruise control right here on the steering wheel, uh, shifter control right here, turn signal and wiper blade controlled right here. And looky here, it's got a it's got a brake pedal and a gas pedal just like your automobile does that you have that you drive every day. Over here, we uh, this motorhome is equipped with heated and uh, remote controlled mirrors to this switch right here, uh, and also has really cool lighting outside, which I'll show you when we get out there. And then when you get to your campsite, setting this up is just as easy as driving it. You simply click on and auto, and that's going to level this motorhome right to a T. So just two buttons to level the motorhome. Heating and air conditioning controls are easy to use right down here. And the seats are super com comfortable. So they're Thomas Paine seats in the GT7s, very plush. And both seats are power, where that used to be an option if you're familiar with the Georgetown XL, which used to be top of the line Georgetown. This, the GT7 has replaced that. And now power seats, both passenger and driver, are standard features. All right, standing in the front cab area looking back, we have a really beautiful motorhome. When I did the video on the uh, 36D7, I pointed out that the countertops, I'm super impressed with this. Wherever there is a countertop in this motorhome, it's the solid surface LG style rock countertop. Uh, and that doesn't matter if it's over a window or in the bathroom, wherever there's a countertop, it's the nice countertop. They don't use the cheap Formica anywhere, like is still being done right now amongst competing, uh, competing motorhomes. The woodwork in this is truly spectacular. It's finished off with a nice clear coat glaze that really adds to the richness and feel of this motorhome. The kitchen area here, notice how much countertops here and in this section here you have your sink and your stove but you can't tell because of the countertop inserts over the top of each of them so if you're not using either of those, those items the sink or the stove you can have extra countertop space great for a buffet area uh, and of course it has the nice sink and stove underneath this is a double basin stainless steel sink here so you can see with a nice high rise faucet and it's nice and deep and I like the window behind it's an opening window as well and then your stove area is here notice the glass tile backsplashes both behind the stove and on the side of the stove so that's going to make cleanup really easy uh, especially when you cook like me and you make a little bit of a mess so 
Let me get this. These are a little heavy. Sorry for that. But this is a three burner gas range here provided by Furion. And that matches really well with the stainless steel oven provided by Furion too. This is the nicest oven that they, they build for RVs. And it, it really stands up amongst the nicest uh, residential appliances. A lot of really cool drawer spaces here. All the drawers in this motorhome are self-closing drawers, just like what you would have in high-end cabinetry for your home. This up here is your Furion microwave, but not only is it a microwave, it's your half-time convection oven as well. And typically in the past, I've been doing this for a while now, when we see the convection oven, you don't get the normal oven. This motorhome has both have the gigantic LG refrigerator. This is a residential refrigerator. Now this refrigerator, don't worry, it's hooked into an inverter. So if you don't want to run your generator, your food's still going to stay cool in the fridge and your, your stuff in your freezer is still going to be frozen when you get to your destination. Here, two comfortable reclining theater seats. These are Thomas Paine edition theater seats. Now Thomas Paine is more of a residential style furniture builder. So they're building comfortable furniture that's going to last. You can notice how it reclines there. Also the seat has a heat feature and a massage feature. So once you sit down there for a movie, make sure you fill up all four of the beverage holders because you're not going to want to get up. Speaking of watching a movie, you can watch it really nice on this flat screen television with a built-in sound bar. A lot of uh, RVs out there I do videos on, they have nice TVs, but they don't have the sound bar. And if you've ever had a flat screen TV, you know the sound's just not the best. So having the sound bar is a huge plus. Now that sound bar also is Bluetooth ready, so if you just want to listen to music on it through your phone, you can do that as well. And then below here, uh, if you don't want to watch a movie, you just want to sit down and relax, have your heated and massage seat on, and turn the fireplace on just for a little bit of ambience, or you can even kick on the space heater portion to heat it up, uh, you can do all that right there. Now this section here is what makes this motorhome unique. So this is your closet if you want it as a closet has the two doors to open it up nice big hanging closet rod there uh, but this area transforms just really with a pull of a pen here and that's what i really love about this motorhome so this will fold down and there's a bunk cushion down here there's actually two down there but you put the bunk cushion up here and you have a bunkhouse now uh, with opening windows, window blinds there as well. So you have two full bunks here. I'm six foot long now and I can lay down on them just fine. And then if you don't want this area, you simply flip that bunk back up and you now have your closet back. So if you are going to use this for a bunkhouse, it's nice to have a full bathroom for your guest. And that's what this is here. Again, two full bathrooms in this motorhome. And this is more of the secondary bath, but they did not skip in this bath. You have a one piece, yeah, that's one piece fiberglass surround tub. All that is one molded fiberglass piece with a glass shower doors here. A big window here. Of course, on all the windows here, you have your sunshade and your blackout shade. So two shades on each window. Both are the easy roll up and down. Now that that window does open, which is a benefit. It's gonna be a jousty style window, which opens from the bottom. And you can have that cracked and turn on the attic fan in the bathroom here. And that fan's gonna just do a really nice job circulating there, especially if you have that window cracked open. Text out any steam or smells that might come from this bathroom. Now the, the ceiling on this motorhome all throughout is a padded ceiling. Notice the countertop, like I was mentioning earlier, all one piece, all the nice rock made countertop, even integrates into the sink here, really stylish faucet as well. Now the stool in here is a macerating stool, uh, so it's really a nice, easy to use RV stool, 100% porcelain as well. Now to come back into the master bedroom, the master bedroom is going to be separated off by this sliding pocket door here. And coming back here, you have a nice bed. The belt, it, the bed is on a tilt. I've got it up in the reading position, I would like to call it. Uh, so you can have it in the reader position. There's also a couple of lights underneath here for reading lights. Uh, but of course, it is going to fold flat. Nice countertop 
uh, nightstands there as well. And then storage in this motorhome is really something else. So you have a nice tall hanging closet here. You have three drawers and they are big drawers for your folding clothes, socks, underwear, things of that sort. Again, this easy self-closing drawers. Big storage cabinet here underneath the television. Does come with 32 inch television in the bedroom. And then this cabinet here is one thing that's gonna set this motorhome apart. Has a stackable washing machine and dryer right here. Similar to what you would have in your home. This is not a compact unit like what we're used to seeing in RVs. This is a, a two separate units, so it's going to be more efficient. And you're going to be able to do more clothes than what you are able to do in those compact single units. Final door here is going to get us back into the master bathroom. So, uh, again, very similar to the other bathroom because they didn't skimp in the other bathroom. Really nice lighting in it. Two medicine cabinets, both are mirrored and open up for storage behind. And same type of countertop, all one piece rock integrated into the sink. A lot of drawers, there's actually four drawers back here. So plenty of room to put your uh, bathroom type, you, uh, you know, your brushes and things of that sort you're gonna be using. And then coming back here, again, skylight over the shower, has the fan in here. It's a nice window with the shades. And then this bathroom itself, uh, the whole shower is a one piece fiberglass unit, just like what we had up in the front with glass doors. All right, let's take a look outside because the outside of this is super impressive with an all new paint job. Bigger storage than what we've ever seen before, and a an really awesome, aggressive front and rear cap. Set my camera down, open up the door here. All right, get my camera turned around. This is the all new exterior. Uh, the Forest River Georgetown GT7. Super aggressive paint job. Awesome front cap. Notice the new lights, the new grill. All fiberglass front cap, all fiberglass rear cap. Those butt up, come over onto the roof line, connect really nice with the fiberglass roof, both in the front and the back. Has aluminum stamped baggage doors, which is your bus style baggage doors, side hinged as well. So you can open them up, get full viewing area. You don't have to have the thing resting on your head. That's your propane tank and your jack um, motor and pump. Here's some of your storage. Notice this one goes all the way through to the other side. And all storage compartments, I want, you pay, I want you to pay attention, they're all rotocast plastic. And it's not pieced together, it's all one piece, all the way from this side to the other side. So you're gonna be able to uh, really just keep this whole area nice and clean. All the rotocast tubs have little drain holes in them. So if you literally wanna take your hose and wash them off, you can. Put a little light on here. So uh, from this area to this area, it's almost a foot tall. Uh, 170 cubic foot of storage space. It's the largest storage space that's ever been in a Georgetown. Onan 7000 gas Aline generator. It's gonna power everything in this motorhome anywhere. So if you wanna camp out in a parking lot somewhere, you can, or if you wanna be out in the mountains of Colorado, you can do that as well and still use everything in this motorhome. Aggressive rear cap as well. Looks more like a diesel pusher rear cap, fully painted. Uh, has a backup monitor up top there, ladder to get up onto your fiberglass roof and do your roof maintenance. Comes with a 5,000 pound rated hitch with a 500 pound tongue rating and seven pin wiring all from the factory. Coming over to the more fun side of the RV, there is one slide on this side. This motorhome has two slide outs total. I'm sure you caught that, but again, more storage here. 
do want to show you this compartment. This is the first for Georgetown. I've seen this in diesel pushers for a long time. So you have the suicide door, meaning you got this big, wide storage area here. It comes with a really big 40 inch flat screen television for your outside entertainment system. And that's coupled with your Jensen outside radio. So that completes this walkthrough on this all new Georgetown. I'll post links below with more information, pricing, availability, all that jazz. Customer response from these GT7s has been immense. Uh, customers have been looking for this in a Forest River product for a long time with the Precision, precision Plex power system, uh, which I showed in detail in the last uh, GT7 video I did, so check that out. Uh, you can connect that to your phone and turn all the lights on, put the slides outside the generator. Basically, that's the brains of this motorhome all on a computer app and a tablet built into the motorhome. So make sure you check that out. And uh, if you're in the market for an RV, by all means, give us an opportunity. We have one of the largest selections from the top manufacturers uh, right here in Ohio, but we do do business all across the United States. So uh, to learn a little bit more about us, I always tell customers to check out our Google reviews and I'll put a link below for that. So uh, I'm a little cold out. It's a little windy and chilly today. So I'm signing out. Thanks for watching.